Hello guys, good morning. Let's use this opportunity this day to talk about sports and esports and why people don't really watch esports anymore. We are talking about billion dollar industry here. You know, Tencent has been losing millions each year from their esports scene, you know. UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship, one of the biggest organizations in the world, right? Is losing viewership on a daily basis. Do you guys know why people love esports in the first place? Because they want to see best of the best, you see? This is the competitive spirit. This is why people love esports, right? And if you do things right, you get sponsorship and viewership naturally because people want to see who's the best, right? You have EU versus North America competitive spirit. But the, but the sad reality is most people in esports or sports business have no idea how to lead sports anymore. Nobody does, right? Instead of organizing a true competitive tournaments <clears throat> and having real rankings, they literally handpick their players, they handpick their teams. And that's why nobody watches sports anymore, right? Because it's all just a huge business. They, they don't realize why people watch sports in the first place. And even multi-billion com companies have no idea how to lead, uh, how to lead sports and esports today. They rather rely on bots and promotional accounts all over social media to make them seem popular, but the reality is not that anymore, right? You see, I have been making videos for YouTube for the last 7 years, and I was always a fan of esports and sports in general. You know, there is nothing better to see best of the best, best clash on even playing field, and that's why we love esports and sports, to see who's the best, and if you as a company all you have to do is organize tournaments and have real rankings. And then people watch naturally. This is how you naturally get sponsorship and viewership, right? If you do things right, you don't even need to promote. People watch naturally. People form their own teams, right? All you have to do as a company is not only to have basic rank functionality, like rank leaderboards, rewards, but you, all you have to do is organize community tournaments with foundings where top five teams get reward and this is how you attract competition this is how you make people watch right and this is the sole reason why smite or league of legends prostin has been dying for years now they handpick their players they have no competitive spirit they waste money on paying pro players which are not even pro players, they didn't deserve their spots, they got handpicked and half of them used bots on social media to promote themselves, right? Literally whole sports and even politics is around this. That's why you should never, you know, make political decisions based on social media, it's just way too many bots and promotional accounts. So I'm also gonna talk about uh, weakness of each uh, esport, okay? Now we have this saying that, you know, in EU we have clubs, right, with fans and players, but in America they make teams around star players, right, players who are popular, and that would work, but since me, social media is so broken, it's all fake, it's all people don't realize, you know, you only have people, you know, who are making money, so they're not talking about this problem, and then you also have, you know, other half, new people who, you know, think, who don't realize that sport is just a huge business, just like social media. You know, I love sports and esports and YouTube more than anything else. But when you realize the reality of social media, you see that you basically have no chance. And even as an esports player, you have no chance if you don't get handpicked by those teams. No man, it doesn't even matter how good you are. People will get manipulated and they think you are one of the best if you just get handpicked. Right? Without real tournaments, you see, North America EU online tournaments with foundings, without real rankings, sports are meaningless. That's why nobody watches sports anymore. Y you guys turn sport into a huge business, into a show, right? But if you do things right, you get show naturally. That's what they don't understand. For example, <clears throat> we have CSGO, Counter-Strike, right? 
What are the biggest problem of Counter Strike esports? <clears throat> they handpick their players. Players can bring console, their own consoles to tournaments, which means half of them are actually cheaters. You know, I have seen videos of uh, CS:GO pro players. Half of them play like cheaters, right? With uh, they also have aim assist, and again they handpick their players. It, they don't really have you know. North America, EU, uh, commu official tournaments where, you know, players and teams would actually deserve their spots, you know? Secondly, League of Legends. League of Legends have Tencent, one of the biggest companies in the world, and they are still losing money. Because they don't organize real community tournaments, they have no real rankings, they handpick, the, handpick their players, that's why nobody takes esports seriously, because nobody knows how to lead esports anymore, right? When you turn things into a business, it, the things lo lose its meaning, right? But it really hurts after 7 years, I feel like I basically have no chance on YouTube anymore, because I'm not using bots and promotional accounts to manipulate my viewers and algorithm. So basically I have no chance to get any views, because I'm literally not a scammer, right? Because it almost feels like YouTube is designed in a way that only those who manipulate algorithm and their viewers, only those guys can make it. And they make it almost impossible for any smart content creator to get any views. And it's the same problem with sports. Those companies waste money on so-called pro players, which just gatekeep everyone else. Why? Because people think if you play on these pro leagues that you are one of the best, right? No, they handpick most of their player base. And these guys never talk about these issues because then they get a lot of views and money from social media and from these new companies, right? And that's had been a problem for sports industry and esports for years now. Nobody knows what, how to lead sport business properly. Nobody understands why we love sports in the first place, you know? As a passionate, competitive player, it really hurts seeing the state of esports and sports today, you know? Tencent is losing millions every year from esports. Because they don't do things correctly. On top of that, they ignore most of your, their player base. They only focus on 20-year-old Dota Conquest players and ignore most of their pl other player base, right? And all the stars or all stars in sports you see are basically just a show their businessmen. And half of them are actually just scammers who use bots on, on social media to promote themselves. They manipulate thousands of people on a daily basis. And nobody is talking about this. Social media is totally broken because it's just a huge business. And that's also a problem with sports. Right? And guys, UFC, Ultimate Fighting Championship, biggest company in the world. Dana White still didn't realize how to properly lead his organization. And now they are forced to use bots on social media, so there is this fake illusion that they are still popular, right? That's why Abu Dhabi is using bots on social media to get control, uh, to, to get more power and control via sports, for example, you know? I can show you one video, I just hope I don't get banned for it. <laughs> Mm. You see, 16 million views. This is how they get title shot, guys. They don't get it via earning it via actual tournaments and rankings. They get it based on social media manipulation. That's how sad it is. Okay. So if you you can you can check that for yourself. You can open some of these top liked comments under these videos, which are mostly fake positive comments, and check the creation date of some of these accounts. And they're usually only a few years old. Okay. Only one year old, you see. Only two years old. This is the reality of social media and sports. Okay. Now we can also talk about World of Warcraft, for example, why esports in World of Warcraft are not doing well. Because the game is not really meant for esports. The graphics sucks and there is no real interaction, right? You don't re realize what is actually going on. Right? Even if you have those casters, you know? 
and a lot of these esports don't really have good casters you know they are good at talking but they don't really understand the game they are playing they don't understand meta they, don't, they are not passionate enough you see And also sports are filled with, you know, cheaters, steroids on top of that. It's like, why would I watch this? It has no meaning. It's all fake staged up, you know. But most people don't realize that. That's why they're still doing what they're doing, you know. I hope you guys learned fr something from this video. And I hope you guys have a good day and get some proper rest. I really need it myself too. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next one guys.